Okay, hi everyone. Have you ever wondered how AI can not only think but also act to solve complex problems? So today we're diving into React Agents, an exciting framework that combines reasoning and action to create smarter AI systems. So what is a React Agent? React stands for reasoning and action. They mimic human-like problem solving by combining thought processes with task-specific actions. So its key features are its step-by-step -step thought process, its dynamic interaction with tools or APIs, and its goal-oriented behavior. They are important because they can reduce hallucinations by reasoning through tasks, and they dynamically decide when to retrieve information or execute actions. So let's say you ask an AI whether you should take an umbrella today. So the traditional AI might just give you a generic answer like it may rain. But a React agent would check the weather forecast, reason through the data, and then conclude that yes, take an umbrella because there is a 70% chance of rain. So this is the advantage of React agents over traditional LLMs. While traditional LLMs respond based on static knowledge encoded during training, if they don't know the answer, they may hallucinate or give incorrect responses. React agents, on the other hand, actively think through problems and take actions to retrieve information dynamically, ensuring more reliable outputs. Now let's understand the workflow of a React agent. So the following structure is used to answer complex questions efficiently. So it starts with a query. When a user asks something, the agent doesn't answer it immediately. Instead, it thinks about the question and breaks it down logically. It generates thoughts. The agent considers what it knows, what it needs to find out, and how to approach the problem. This step is crucial because it ensures that the response is well-reasoned rather than just a random guess. Then it decides on action. Now, based on its thought process, the agent determines the next best step. Should it look up information online, perform a calculation, retrieve facts from a database, the agent actively chooses what to do next. Then it executes the action and observes the results. It, uh, if it searched for something, it analyzes the retrieved data. If it ran a calculation, it checks the answer. So this step is where the agents learn from the real world instead of relying only on pre-trained knowledge. It evaluates progress. The agent then asks itself, did I get a useful answer? Do I need to refine my approach? Am I closer to solving the problem? If the answer is yes, it moves forward to generating the final response. If not, it repeats the cycle, improving its reasoning and action selection. It stops when the answer is complete or the max iteration limit is reached. To prevent endless loops, we set a cap on how many times the agent can iterate. If it reaches this limit without a satisfactory answer, it gracefully exits and provides the best possible response. So this is the approach of how the agent thinks through problems step by step, just like a human would, rather than jumping straight to conclusions. Now that we've covered the React agents and their workflow, let's dive into the code implementation. So here I will be showing you a Python script that builds a React agent. So we understand the process. Let's talk about actually building this in code. We'll be using Llama index as a framework and uh, Grok's Llama 3.8b model for language processing. So a first step would be installing the dependencies, llama index, grox, llama model, and let it go search API and all. Once we downloaded that, we can set up our environment. Uh, we have set a grox API key here, and we use secret here to avoid uh, secure security problems. So this step ensures that the agent can interact with grox model without exposing sensitive credentials. Next, we will be defining the tools. First, we import all the necessary modules here. And once that's done, we start by defining our tools. So the agent relies on spe specialized tools to handle different query types. In this case, two, rules, two tools are implemented. The first is a math solver tool. So this tool is designed to handle various mathematical queries, like basic arithmetic calculations, or algebraic equation solving, or even calculus operations. So this function first checks if the problem consists only of numbers and basic operations. If so, it evaluates the expression directly and returns the result. If the problem contains more complex reasoning and more complex forms, it keeps changing and checking what method would be most suitable for it to answer the question. 
if the query involves an ordinary differentiate function, then the function solves it using dissolve. And tool handles a variety of mathematical inputs dynamically, allow, allowing the React agent to process user queries efficiently. Secondly, we have the DataGo search tool here. It integrates this inbuilt tool in the Llama index library to retrieve general information from the web. This tool is included in Llama index's predefined DuckDuckGo search tool spec, which simplifies the process of conducting web searches. Whenever user query is outside the scope of the mathematical problem solving, the agent can utilize this too. Next, we initialize our large language model. Here, the model is initialized with a temperature of 0 0.2, ensuring that the responses remain deterministic while still allowing for some variability in reasoning. Then we construct our React agent here. Uh, we're using Llama index here. So this architecture allows the agent to analyze the user's question, invoke the appropriate tool, and then combine LLM reasoning with the tool. The agent is configured with a maximum of five iterations, meaning it can take multiple steps if needed to refine the answer. Additionally, uh, our verbose is logged as false here. If you set it as true, you will be able to see the thinking and thought process of the agent. We have turned it off right now for simplicity. Next, we query the agent. A function name query agent is defined to process user queries. It takes a query string as input, passes it to the agent, and returns the generated response. Error handling is included to ensure that the unexpected inputs do not break the execution. Lastly, we have some test queries here. There's a list of queries here. Firstly, we have a mathematical query, which is a simple linear equation. And uh, next, we have a general knowledge query about what is quantum computing. And lastly, we have another which we will be solving using a maths tool, which is kind of a complex question. In this, we are calculating derivatives. So the agent recognizes a calculated query here and invokes the math solver tool. And so does it do here. And these queries demonstrate how the agent selects and uses the appropriate tools. So as we've already done this, we can print the response here. Okay, so as you can see, we got the correct response to the first question, which is a simple linear equation. The second two, where it was a question about quantum computing. And finally, we also got the correct answer to the last one, which was used to calculate derivative of a given equation. So this implementation of React Agent demonstrates how to combine reasoning and action using an LLM and external tools. The Llama Index framework allows for seamless integration of powerful LLM, custom tools, and external search capabilities via DuckDuckGo to retrieve up-to-date information. So by implementing this approach, AI agents can be made more robust, capable of handling diverse queries, and adaptable to various use cases, from academic problem solving to general knowledge retrieval. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or ideas for extending this implementation further.